Alright guys, so this video is going to be a video for the evolutionary explanations of group displays. So I would first start an essay by outlining AO1 um, what group displays are. So first I'd say group displays are ritualised displays of aggression between groups of people which evolutionary psychologists believe to be adaptive in nature. Natural selection favours men who have aggressive traits as women see this as attractive, heightening the chances of spreading his genes. Um, such group displays serve functions as promoting group dominance, intimidating others, uh, potentially threatening groups and um, competing for ownership, ter territory, resources um, such as women and land. And then I'd go on to saying a modern day example of group displays is football fans at a football match uh, where rival teams are separated and each team often performs ritual chants uh, behaviours to intimidate the opposing team in a bid to enhance maximum chances of winning and therefore survival adaptive in nature. I would then go on to saying the evolution theory can explain extreme dedication and passion for fans, um, passion of fans to their sports club and how football hooligans battle for the team's dominance against rival teams. Group displays um, appear to be ritual in nature um, because we see verbal chanting and intimidating dances, especially this is seen in the New Zealand um, hacker dance. Uh, which originates from ceremonial war dance so it appears that um, it is evolution in nature because they used to do it back in the day um, caveman days um, and now it's used um, as a way to intimidate the other team um, in the hacker dance um, for rugby I would then go on to talk about Chignon's Yanomama tribe so Chignon um, did a, a longitudinal study of the Yanomama tribe um, and this tribe had a long war, a history of war with other tribes and he found that the male members of the tribe were far more likely to have been um, gone to war and have killed members of the opposing tribe suggesting, again linking it back to the question suggesting that displays of aggression are perceived as an attractive behaviour in a mate um, I could also say that how this is adaptive as well um, this supports the idea that in times of warfare, group displays of aggression encourages survival and reproductive success as women view aggression as attractive. Therefore, violent actions such as murder and war gives the male better chance of reproducing and aids his survival um, as he can fight off rivals but, um, and also spread his genes. He also found that warriors perform a war dance, um, linking it back to this point, um, supports the theory as it seems that group displays encourages adaptive aggression which aids survival. I would then go on to talk about Morris um, who observed Oxford United fans playing both home and away and he found that their behaviour to be extremely territorial and ritualised. So again this suggests that group displays serves an evolutionary purpose in various sporting events. It seems aggression may increase their chances of victory and group displays of aggression serve an evolutionary purpose because we seen it in the um, back in the day in the caveman days and we also see it now however it can be criticized um, because as this is as Morris's study was an observation study it is likely that if the presence of the observer was known those who he was watching um, could have induced demand characteristics um, as the individuals may have acted in a way that differs to their natural character, therefore it, it lacks in validity. Also, in cases where the observer's present remains unknown, the ethical issue of deception is raised. I would then go on to talking about Foldacy, who found that there was a greater number of violent incidents and aggressive behaviours reported when national side matches played. So this supports the idea of group displays. Um, and just to expand on that, I would talk about the evolution explanation would argue that this behaviour is, is a direct result of xenophobia, which is the fear of strangers, experienced by coming into contact with the opposing team because the other team are seen as rivals um, and a threat competing for the territory and resources. Um, therefore, it supports the evolution theory as aggression is shown when such threats appear. We also see this in riots between Man United and Man City. Um, in the exam, I would write Manchester United just um, so we have formal language. Um, and this demonstrates that this, as 
fans from both sides show aggression by fighting for the same land and high street. Um, so in this case, it supports the theory um, because they're fighting for the same territory and resources. Therefore, they have to be aggress aggressive to um, win. This is also strengthened by the fact that the people from the same country um, take part in wars against each other um, and this is known as a civil war. Group displays are actually an evolutionary tactic for survival. Then go on to talk about End and he argues that it's not evolutionary but it's the environment of sporting events that creates aggression so it can be explained by a socialization process and actually weakens the evolutionary idea. Then go on to talk about how the group, the idea of group displays is deterministic as it argues aggression at sports and warfare is inevitable and it removes the individual of any sense of free will and responsibility so it make, it forces people to be aggressive that they can't be blamed and that is quite dangerous I would then go on to talk about Marsh um, he conducted observations on football fans and found that all aggression was actually verbal and harmless um, so it actually weakens the theory as it seems to be a cathartic outlet. Going to matches um, and shouting your, your head off actually acts um, as a cathartic outlet. So it kind of reduces aggression because you're letting it all out. Um, so it actually differs from the purpose of group dis what group displays argues. So it may uh, weaken this, the evolution explanation further. Then finally, you can talk about how, how all of the studies, most of the studies into group displays are observation studies and you can't get fully informed consent from from participants so it is quite unethical but yeah thank you for watching and good luck with exams